Why would a narcissist betray you in a way that you could never accept? Is it because they're completely done with you? We're gonna break that down in this video. I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert and top doctor. And in this video and on this channel, I help you identify the narcissist in your life, identify the impact that they have had on your well being, and then turn that trauma and that drama into gold, becoming stronger and more powerful than you ever were before. If that sounds like exactly what you need, I invite you to click subscribe, click that notification bell so that you catch each and every video. Today we're talking about why a narcissist would betray you in a way that you could not possibly accept. Does it mean that they're just done with you? An overt narcissist may cheat on you, may steal from you, may leave you stranded in the middle of nowhere when they are angry or upset. They don't necessarily see it as a betrayal. They see it as what they wanted or needed to do to take care of themselves, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. What they want and need takes top priority in their minds. Now, if it was a betrayal, that's extra bonus points. They get extra narcissistic supply. They get to experience your anger, your hurt, your betrayal, basking in the fact that they had the power and control to evoke those feelings in you in the first place. They bask in the knowing that you so willfully gave your power away. So knowingly bask in the fact that they can reel you right back in. They have betrayed you and now one of two things is going to happen. First, you're going to resist and complain, tell them that their behavior is completely unacceptable, yet ultimately take them back. They may offer you false apologies, tell you that they've changed, tell you that they're the only one that could truly love you. When you take them back after a betrayal, you have devalued yourself. You did the heavy lifting for them. They just get to sit there and soak up the narcissistic supply. They will look for a way to betray you further so that you devalue yourself again. That is ultimate power and control. The second option is that you will leave. No skin off their back. They have another source of nar narcissistic supply who is desperate for the opportunity to become the primary source. On your way out, you'll lash out, you'll complain, you'll want closure, and they get supply from all of that too. Either way, their need for supply is met today. If you've been through a betrayal before, you know that they will want you back. When their new supply doesn't work out, when they want something, you sit here after the betrayal wanting to understand, wanting to know what they were thinking. Surely they know this was so huge that I won't take them back. Does that mean they're completely done? You're looking for answers in a situation that doesn't make any sense. It's only natural to try to understand their behavior to understand what in the world they're thinking. And yet you're asking the wrong question. The narcissist doesn't care about you. They only care about themselves meeting their own needs. They go where they can gather the most narcissistic supply for the least effort. The narcissist may test you to see if you're still a good source of supply while getting narcissistic supply from others. And if you're no longer a good source of supply, they move on. They don't need to betray you to do that. 
they're just as likely to move on without a word. So why a major betrayal? Because you accept it. You've accepted smaller betrayals in the past. You've given the narcissist the power to devalue you and determine when the relationship ends. You're wondering if they've chosen to be done with you. The better question, why aren't you completely done with them? You are responsible for taking care of you, for setting the bar for how you will be treated, for deciding what you will and will not accept in a relationship. What are you willing to accept? If this video resonates with you, type, what am I willing to accept in the comments? Then like this video, share it with someone who needs this message. Share it with someone who needs to understand what it is that you've been going through. And if you wanna find out exactly where you're at on this healing journey from narcissist victim to anti-fragile narcissist survivor, Download my free guide that helps you to see where you're at and what is your next best step. You can do that at narcolislife.com. I'm Dr. Melissa, and I'll see you in the next video.